So I jammed my phone in the fence, so hopefully, hopefully you can see everything. I know it's pointed up pretty high, but that's where I plan on flying. So it's the uh, Rage RC, the Micro Warbird series. They got the Corsair here. Of course, I don't have the wheels on it because I'm going to be belly landing on the grass here. I'm just hand launching it. The beginner mode, all the way up towards you, self-leveling, and it limits how much you can roll it. So you really can't get into trouble with this mode. Intermediate mode, when you let go of the stick, it'll level out. Other than that, you can do loops and rolls and fly upside down and everything else. But as soon as you let go of the stick, it'll straighten out. And then expert just turns all that gyro stuff off and lets you be responsible for everything that's happening. So I'm going to start it out in the beginner mode because it launches so easily. Half throttle, and just toss. Hands off, it's just flying away. I'll bring it around, still half throttled. Just a pass so you can see. There it goes out there. It's got lots of power. Go back into uh, intermediate mode where I can get a little bit more aggressive with the controls. And you'll see I can do a short loop like that. As soon as I let go, it straightens out. It's really good for uh, if you want to learn aerobatics because all you got to do is let go and it figures out which way it needs to go to get level again. You don't end up in a little bad uh, spiral stalls or anything like that. This is with the wind, about half throttle, it's pretty quick. Coming around into the wind. But that gyro is working pretty hard. It uh, makes it look like a, a smoother airplane than uh, it is if you're in manual mode, for sure. Again, I don't know if the camera is going to capture this up high like this. Plenty of range. Again, super easy to fly. <laughs> I'm just going to stand out here. So I'm in beginner mode right now, so doing all the hard work. If I push this button up top here, the transmitter starts to beep, and then you choose a direction. If you go, if you pull back, it does a loop by itself. So you'll hear it beeping, pull back. Oh, that one, that took it went sideways. So it did a roll. Straighten it out, push the button. Pull back. Oh. Still doing a roll. Because I don't have my thumbs calibrated. Pull back. There's the roll. Oh, there's the loop there. Give her some power and give her again. See if I can get a big loop out of it. It, roll, it does a nice clean roll though. I don't know if it's putting rudder in there or not, but it's got a nice clean straight roll. You don't normally get that out of a warbird unless you're feeding a lot of rudder and elevator in. So I'll try it again. So the loop, there it is. Yeah. The roll is definitely a lot more finesse than the uh, than the loop. The loop sort of gets a little crooked as it goes, but the roll flies nice and straight. 
Yeah. If I try to do, if I put that into uh, intermediate or expert mode and I do a roll, here's uh, expert mode. It loses a lot of altitude. It does a corkscrew, so. Definitely knows how to handle the plane better than I do. <laughs> Uh, the rudder will wag the tail a little bit, but it, it doesn't really affect the plane that much. You can't just turn with rudder, or you'll be uh, you'll be waiting forever. Here's a here's just a rudder turn. It's probably 150 feet. <laughs> it's still now it's at the flight line. Yeah, and passed again. So. Here's a rudder turn. Actually, it's, it's, it's full throttle rudder turn. It's out there. It's doing a, a big, big, big circuit. So, Let's see if we can slow her down for a pass here. Another pass with the wind. Gonna be a little bit quicker here. Try to get her now it's nice and low. There it is. So that's just about half throttle with the wind. Here's about half throttle into the wind. It's only really five to seven K wind, so it's perfect for this. Got no timer going on this, of course, is a basic radio, it's not gonna have a timer built in. Uh, the plane itself has the lipo cut off where it'll pulse, the motor will pulse when the battery is low. I don't really like flying the battery down until they get that low, so I'll bring it in. When you're bringing in the, the belly lander, you want to keep it as, as even as possible, so it's nice to hit that beginner mode so it levels the wings out and then kill the throttle and just let it come in so that the prop's not spinning hardly at all. It's just the wind that's blowing it. So even though, even though I killed the throttle and had it level when it came in, knocked the prop off. So they give you extra props and extra hubs, but they've designed this. They know what's going to happen. They know you're going to pile it into something. So all this does is fits on the end. You line it up and push it on, and now it's good to go again. So no broken parts, no bent parts. Still full power again. So it's a good little plane. And it looks good too. I chose the Corsair because I figured that was going to be the hardest one to fly <clears throat> without any of the stabilization. But it, it it gets a little squirrely. But again, I'm using a stock radio that doesn't have any of those luxuries like Expo or or extra dual rates or anything like that. But with the gyro on, this thing flies itself practically.